The business environment never stands still. Regulations are always changing. Global competition continues to intensify, and technology is a source of constant upheaval. In this rapidly changing world, managerial accounting needs to continue to innovate in order to provide managers with the information they need. Much of the U.S. economy has shifted toward an emphasis on services. Today, more than 50% of U.S. workers are employed by service companies. Airlines, marketing agencies, cable companies are just a few examples of service companies. How do service companies differ from manufacturing companies? One difference is that services are consumed immediately by the customers. For example, when a restaurant produces a meal, that meal is not put in inventory, but rather it is consumed immediately. This chapter focused on a manufacturing company. The techniques shown in this chapter are equally useful for determining the cost of performing a service. Just like a manufacturer, a service company needs to keep track of the cost of its services in order to know whether it's generating a profit. For example, a restaurant owner needs to know the cost of each offering on the menu. The value chain refers to all business processes associated with providing a product or performing a service. This slide illustrates the value chain for a manufacturer. Under a just-in-time inventory method, goods are manufactured or purchased just in time for sale. For example, Dell can produce and deliver a custom computer within 48 hours of a customer's order. Just-in-time requires emphasis on product quality because companies do not have excess inventory on hand. As a result, many companies focus on Total Quality Management, or TQM, to reduce defects in finished products with the goal of zero defects. The theory of constraints involves identification of bottlenecks, constraints within the value chain that limit a company's profitability. An application of the theory of constraints will be presented in Chapter 19. Technology has played a big role in the focus on the value change. An ERP system provides a comprehensive, central, integrated source of information to manage all major business processes, from purchasing, to manufacturing, to sales, to HR. Activity-based costing allocates overhead based on each product's use of a particular activity. It provides a more accurate product cost, as well as can contribute to increased efficiency in the value chain. ABC is discussed further in Chapter 17. The Balanced Scorecard uses both financial and non-financial measures to evaluate all aspects of a company's operations in an integrated fashion. We will cover this topic in Chapter 23. All employees within an organization are expected to act ethically in all business activities. Given the importance of ethical behavior, Many organizations provide codes of business ethics for their employees. In response to corporate scandals, Congress enacted the Sarbanes-Oxley Act, also referred to as SOX. Many companies have begun to evaluate not just corporate profitability, but also corporate social responsibility.